growing up in the South as a Jewish person, um, you're really pressured to fit in. Wearing a head covering is his uh, a couple things. His first is his, his acknowledgement uh, and deference to God. Um, it is, uh, in my religion, it's a sign of respect uh, and pride in your faith, pride in your identity. Um, so, being uh, wearing a kippa is is not only identifying yourself, but like internalizing being a Jewish person. So wearing my kippah um, would bring certain kind of attention I didn't want. So I got into the habit of wearing a hat. Uh, but the teachers wouldn't allow the hat. So I got caught between a rock and a hard place of, do I wear my head covering, my kippah? Do I wear my hat and get into a fight with the teachers? Do I do neither and fit in? I still encounter when I go to court, when I go to Annapolis, there's an expectation that I take my hat off. Uh, and I have had confrontations with officials because those are the rules. Um, so I have gotten into a habit of wearing a kippah that really blends in with my hair so that if I'm required to take off my hat, uh, I have my kippah, but hopefully people don't see it. And at least there's curiosity. Um, I'm happy to answer questions, but sometimes the asking of questions in of themselves becomes a microaggression. So what do I say to them? Pay attention to what it is that I'm doing that upsets you and whether it is something that is really something wrong or whether it's just something that you're not used to.